Hey sugar boo, welcome back to another hair tutorial. This time I have my oldest daughter Kalia here and we are doing a wash and go honey. And finally I found the two products that have made this turn into this. Look at the definition, okay? Look at those curls. It's giving, giving life, it's breathing to me, okay? Speaking to me. Let's talk about it, okay? Let's get into it. First and foremost, before we go any further into this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. To all of my returning subscribers, hey you bestie, hey mama, hey friend, hope you are being safe and blessed as always. So as you saw in that previous clip, Kalia has this crusty dry hair going on and it's winter time so we gotta hydrate and protect honey so what i just did was wash her hair using the head and shoulders royal line yes honey inexpensive y'all know i'm a frugal individual i don't believe in spending a whole lot of money to see results and so right now i have the conditioner in her hair and we're doing our detangling right now it's been two weeks since her last wash day so her hair is very much tangled as you saw it was dry and crusty so i'm trying to take my time to make sure i do a nice deep detangling as well as not snatch on her edges okay so I'm taking my time using this detangling brush I'll even go in and do some finger raking as well as finger combing just to kind of ease the tension because she is very 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 tender headed at the nape of her neck and this is also where her hair is the kinkiest I know right why why so I'm just taking my time don't rush it's okay move it slow add more water if her hair starts to dry out I definitely have to and sometimes I'll even add extra condition into this part just because I know she's very sensitive in this area Once I have everything detangled to my liking, I twist it up just to keep it out of the way and that way it doesn't get re-tangled up again. I don't know if that's a word, but we are gonna reinvent it today. So I twist it up and then move on to the next section. I usually do about five to six sectionings, depending on how bad her hair is when it comes to detangling. I think today we did six sections because her hair was, as you saw, very much dry. And look at that hydration, look at that juiciness. Okay, that's what we wanna see on wash day. So now we're gonna move into the products. After I washed out all of that conditioner, yes, I keep those twists in there because it helps me with moving on from one step to the another. But I just make sure I rinse her hair really, really, really good. I rinse until the water is pretty much running clear and I use cold water to rinse out her conditioner. So I'm going in with this very inexpensive leave-in conditioner by Olive Oil, um, something I picked up out of my local beauty supply store. And I use a nice handful of this in the first section as I started going throughout her hair I realized I didn't need as much of that leave-in conditioner because the second product we're using is this snot by cream of nature this was my first time using this product and I was a little skeptical I wasn't sure what I was going to see and I was amazed at the results that we got from this okay absolutely stunned me so it's a very very thick like gel like custard goes on very thick but do you see that definition? So at first I was going in with a Denman brush because I wanted her to have that really, really coil kind of look, but I realized that I didn't even really need it. It was just helping distribute the product if that but I felt like my fingers were the best so I ended up switching out using the Denman brush to just using my regular fingers. I really wanted to do an in-depth step-by-step process on how I achieved this defined wash and go. So I wanted you to see everything from start to finish, from me applying the products, taking my time. The video is sped up just a little bit, but you still kind of see me just working those products and detangling it to perfection. And then adding in that snot to get the definition. And I'm really amazed that this only required two products for Kalia's kinky hair. Thank you. 
As you see here, I'm going in one strand at a time pretty much, just working that product through. And I make sure I'm starting at the roots and bringing it all the way down to her tips. And her roots are the most problematic when it comes to the definition of her hair. I usually don't have too much problem with getting her curl pattern to show at the ends. It's usually the roots that start to, you know, kind of puff up and get very much afro texture versus the definition that i'm looking for so i am definitely heavy handed on applying that snot at her roots more so than at her tips Once I have worked that through and everything is said and done, this is what it's looking like. Her hair is still very much wet. We don't have a whole lot of white residue from the kickback of the leave-in conditioner, nor from the snot. There is a slight sheen on there and that's just coming from the natural light, but she doesn't have a whole lot of kickback where that white starts flaking or anything like that. This is her hair as of right now before we diffuse it or anything. So I'm taking her upstairs and I put my dryer on the highest speed but on a low heat and I kind of switch back and forth between that low heat and cool I try to do the cool at her roots and I do the low heat at her tips um, and then after that is done we do that for about 15 minutes I'm then going to go in and style her edges just to lay them down because of course you cannot have a completed look without laying them edges I lay her edges down with a silk wrap just for a few minutes and this is it my goodness I was in love with this and the biggest pro for me for this entire look was that this wash and go lasted her 10 days usually her wash and duck goes I can't get to last no more than three because of the volume and frizziness that it acquires but this lasted 10 days I wish I had took a picture of her 10 days so you could see she definitely had more volume of course but I ended up just putting it up in a high ponytail for her and she was still able to wear it for another two or three days so that is the end of our tutorial guys thank you for joining us on another video we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe